Alrighty, uh, testing out a uh, Dexpot and recording from one stream, from one set of virtual desktops to another. I have six desktops now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see right there, I'm going to have to zoom in on that for you because I have a uh, show mouse cursor turned off because I think it's ugly to show it. Uh, second screen, which is the right side of this recording, because I'm recording both screens at once here, is all Merc. All it's going to do is Merc. Then on the left here is the stream, Serious Samurais, and that's all it's going to be on that set of uh, virtual desktops. I might add a couple more Merc windows over here on the left side of the stream. And I got object doc running as well, which will not show up on uh, Camtasia Studio. Same as Samurai's is not showing up. I have the RPM uh, CPU memory clock running. That's what I'm using for my uh, Serious Samurai setup. Okay, let's go to Desktop 2, which hopefully records. And I have on my uh, secondary monitor, I have my audio recording software and I need to load uh, Camtasia Studio up because I close it like a mini and this also proves how much you can actually run on your uh, computer even with a small CPU like I have it's pegging out right now at 99 percent but as soon as it loads it'll drop down to nothing because the program will be idle and that's how you run many programs. Load it, and then it'll stay in memory. So there we go. I got it running now. So no problem. Camtasia Studio, TechSmith. On the other side is Audacity. We'll go to Desktop 3. Oh, I want to show you something real quick. Hold on. Let's go back to Primary. Back on Primary. I want to show you this. I'm going to right click on Desktop 1. You see the pullout? So it says here, move other windows to this desktop. I'm going to click on trillion because I don't need it over there. And now it's on this desktop where it needs to be. And I will have it here. And I'm going to have to blank out that with some call outs because I don't want you guys seeing that. Alright, so now on the second desktop, I have TechSmith. And Audacity on the third, I believe I have GIMP. Yep, GIMP. And I have nothing else. The reason that there's nothing else over here is because when I'm editing with GIMP, this will be the uh, primary screen will be full of uh, stuff. And yes, this one supports individual taskbars per desktop, per virtual desktop. It does not use the same taskbar for all your desktops. It's a very nice feature. Uh, Dexpot, great program, Git, very easy to use. Uh, desktop 4, I have Pandora on. Desktop 5 should be my email. Well, nope, it's not my email. So we'll right click, move to this desktop, Gmail. There we go, now my email is on desktop 5. So there you have it, that's my new layout. Uh, sorry, I can't show you the dock. But this is my new uh, way of going about doing things product productively. Uh, it's best to have everything up and running at a moment's notice I can get to it right then and there instead of having them open and close programs left and right. The load time is pretty good. I'm recording uh, at a very large ratio and it's loading almost instantly which amazes me. That's why you see that Camp Recorder is pegging out my uh, CPU. So I'm going to end it here. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope I can get Chris to allow me to demonstrate Dexpot to you through a GoToMeeting session as well as uh, Camtasia Studio because they're great programs and uh, I, th I want to thank Dadlord. Dadlord is the one that showed me Dexpot. So everything goes to him. All the credit goes to him for uh, finding this program. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'm going to press F9 to exit out because this is such a huge ratio that uh, I can't get uh, Camtasia to let me quit in any other way. Yeah.